Can I help you? I'm telling you, go this way. Come on, round here. Round here. Oh, that might be even worse. <laughs> oh, you got, oh, you've been digging, huh? You found something in there? Oh, now you're totally wrapped. What is it? Oh. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Left. How are we gonna undo you here? <laughs> what? Hi everybody. Well today we got something really exciting. We are going to look at another vehicle. This is one that's uh, near and dear to my heart because for a couple of reasons. It's a Ford. Number one, it's a Ford. And B, it has the 7.3 Power Stroke. Now this truck belongs to a new friend of mine, Sherry. So everybody say hi to Sherry. Sherry is uh, one of you. She's actually somebody that I met through um, these goofy videos that I post and she was in the area out here where I am so I stopped over so that I could meet up with her and take a look at her truck and it's really interesting for me to see a truck that's really similar to mine and how different how somebody can go at it differently than than what I did. You know they're not identical but they're they're kind of really similar. And so depending on what that person uh, wants or needs, um, that's how they're gonna configure their rig. So it's interesting for me to see a similar vehicle, but not the same as mine. So um, so tell us, Sherry, like uh, what year is it? What is it? How long have you had it? You know, basic stuff like that. It's a 2002 Ford F. 350 or is it 450? I think it's a 450. Is it a 450? I think it is. E450. 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 Yes. yes. Yeah. E450. Oh, yeah. You don't have the little placard on there that says, yeah. You know, like like where it says M247. Right. Yeah. You, okay. That, that's the name of the yeah. vehicle now. M247. So, yeah, I don't know how you tell the difference between a 350 and a 450. Do you? Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. But I, I think it is a 450. So sure. somebody out there, because if I'm not mistaken, the, the E350s also are a dually rear end, so you can't tell just by that. So if somebody out there knows, put it down in the comments, what's the difference between a 350 and a 450? Because we don't know. <laughs> so, okay, so it's a 2002 E450, you're yeah. pretty sure. Yeah, North yeah. Star box. Um, what, what is the name North of it? North Star? North Star? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. It yeah. does have a little logo right here i didn't see that before okay so north star okay 2002 e450 north star box it is a turbo and it's it's the um it's the 73 turbo diesel north right yeah. so um everybody knows that the 73 is the best engine that was ever made <laughs> <laughs> so i'm a big fan of that so so just looking at it you know it's it looks a lot like mine it's uh was it white when you got it yes it was but apparently it used to be red because you can see some of the paint chipping on it and oh yeah i, I got I it from a dealer in california last february and i think they just did a quick paint job on it oh i see yeah yeah, yeah. so i need to do some touch-ups on it so are there so you don't see any remnants of like hospital name or fire truck name or anything okay so you think it was painted white well, then it, the, the title was it, it came from a school district so okay but on the school on district. the um on the cabinets on the inside it still had stickers for like blood pressure you know cups and all the that. important stuff yeah all yeah. that kind of stuff so i don't know if they used it as a first aid mm -hmm. van or if they use it as a handy van right okay yeah. so so expand on that a little bit so you bought it from a dealer a dealer in in i think it was fullerton area like a a used truck dealer yep i just i just saw it online and i wanted okay. it and i put a deposit down flew in got it and drove it all the way back to arizona from 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 california okay from so um 
I'm actually working yeah. on a video about how to find ambulances to buy one. So where, where online did you find it? Um, I think, well, actually, I think it was on, someone posted it on one of the ambulance groups. You know, oh, okay. Just, and then like I, as a heads up, yeah, like, yeah. And I went to the dealer's page and um, I know that, I don't know the name. It's not like a real big dealership. It's a private dealer. Okay. So he's got, um, I know that they're on, um, his daughter got on to a lot of the Ambo sites so she could post some. Promote them? Yeah. Well, it's yeah. good marketing. Yeah, they that's good. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I mean, and it ran beautifully all the way. I mean, it had no problems at all. It was a little dirty. I had to clean it they're up. They're always a little dirty. That's okay. So you've. you've it wasn't blood and guts. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how long have you owned it? Since February. Okay. So. so not very long. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, how many miles were on it when you bought it? 132. I think there's 137. Okay. So in, in the 73 world, just bro just broken in, just getting going. Um, do you mind sharing how much you spent on it? I paid eight for it. 8000 yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you think you got a good price on that? Um, I did only because it's exactly what I wanted. I understand. Yeah. yeah. No, that's good. Yeah. You can't put a price on that, right? Yeah. <laughs> It was exactly what I wanted. I mean, my main my main thing was I wanted to shower and I wanted the double doors in the back on the driver's yes, side. Yes, and we are going to look at that thing, that feature that I am super jealous of. Um, <laughs> and then uh, there's a, another rig. You probably already caught a view of it in the background here over here. That's he, He's very likely going to have an indoor shower also. Oh, yeah. So something that I don't have. Yeah, um, master suite. Shower. So you, when you were looking at ambulances to buy, you probably saw all kinds of prices from super, super cheap yeah. to super, super expensive, right? Right. And you right. landed somewhere in the middle. Right, right. in the middle. Yeah. I wanted to, well, a lot of the ones that were super expensive were already built out. And I wanted to do something myself. I see. So yeah. I just opted for something a little bit cheaper. And I, I've seen, and you probably did too, you see some of them, they can be this old, but they're still sort of like certified and usable. And those right. are like fifteen, twenty thousand right. yeah. dollars because really you can put them into service the day you buy them, you right. know, right. which is not something that we really care about. Yeah. 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 And this one, I mean, it was in great shape. I mean, it, it runs well. I've had no issues with it. I mean, just some little minor, you know, to be expected wear and tear mm -hmm. with its age mm -hmm. now put new ball joints on it um which I there's did a too. valve on yeah. the fuel filter that was leaking i fixed that oil changes it might need some new tires sooner or later but okay you did good. mention that the, the the fuel drain valve that's on the the where the fuel filter housing mm -hmm. is and that's something that i guess is a known issue that can happen yeah um it, it's funny because when i went in to go have it fixed um i got I got a rate, really super high rate, and um, my brother and I looked it up online, and they said nine out of ten, it's not the fuel filter itself, it's the little valve on the side of the fuel oh. filter, and it's like a sixty dollar part. Yeah, and that's exactly what it was. Bingo! So, so it it's, the, lot, it's that common. Yeah. So right. I got it fixed a lot cheaper yeah. than. What I, was I guess one so. of the good things about having a vehicle that's almost 20 years old is that all of the those kind of things, the little bugs and quirks, everybody yeah. knows about them, you know. Right. So when s something happens to one of these engines, it's like one of these two things because it's mm -hmm. happened a million times to right. other people. That's a good right. benefit. And so, thank God for the internet because oh gosh, yeah, you know, they, Dr. Google. I would have never known that, and I probably would have ended up spending way more than I should have good. just to have someone replace a whole. Part yeah. when it only needed to be one more yeah. thing. And yeah, so valuable to do your own research because there's a ton of info out there on these old uh, Power Stroke engines. Yep. So the truck is a very nice bright white, which I really like. Can we um, stick our heads inside and see what you've done to the inside? Because I, when I, when I got my first look at, at her truck inside, the thing that struck me was this looks, and this is not sexist in any way, but this looks like a woman lives it here. Because mine it's is more, girly. yeah, mine is more utilitarian <laughs> yeah. and kind of, you know, not a lot of bells and whistles inside, yeah. but yours is. And I got a lot more stuff inside mine <laughs> that I'm going to try to weed out because I don't like a bunch of stuff. But I mean, Th it was just out. like a throw everything in there and kind of figure out what I need. And then I'll, I'm, I'm definitely giving stuff away left and right. I mean, to that's a good way to do me, it. So. Yep. 
things I don't need, I'm getting rid of. Yep. So, and there's a lot more to go. So. And I know that's the same thing a lot of people do. You take, yeah. you start out with too much stuff and then you start giving yep. it away and getting rid of it. So yeah, less is better. Less Absolutely. is better. Absolutely. You know. So let's, uh, let's peek our heads inside and see what we see. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take a look inside here. Is it okay if I step up in? Absolutely. I don't really have any light, so I hope it's light enough. It looks like it is. So right off the bat, you've got you've got flooring that you put down. Yes. And this is is this is this um, wall paneling or is it flooring? It's flooring. It is yeah. flooring. Yeah, okay. I still need to put the trim on. Yeah. I haven't done that yet. Hi, Rowdy. Brad. Hey, Sam. Good boy. <laughs> and to the right here, you have a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Refrigerator freezer. Yep. It's, it's dual a, zone. Yep. Winter dual zone. Oh, so that part. that cost you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm too cheap to pay for that. I actually got a really good deal on it. So. You have more headroom than I do. I am standing. Oh. I'm standing straight up. Wow. Holy smokes! Look at that. You can't have mine. You want to trade? <laughs> wow. wow. That's you are. Wow. How is that possible? Man, mine stinks now. I hate my truck. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I was saying, definitely um, a homey touch in here that I really don't have. So you have you have some nice uh, happiness. Never stop exploring. Wanderlust. So on the wall here, what did you uh, what did you put on the wall here? This is a um, vinyl floor um, okay. tile, and. I just stuck it up here with um, Loctite. Um, like construction adhesive. Yeah, but yeah. it's the one that's rated for 320 degree because I put it up with something else and it came off. Oh, no in, kidding. In Arizona heat. Yeah. And so I had to redo it and yeah. put it up with the Loctite. But, I mean, that's that's not going Not anymore. coming down. Yeah, no, I, I put down. the same um, wood look vinyl floor on my walls and i use some kind of construction adhesive like yeah. super duty and i haven't had any issues with it yeah so hopefully i use the right stuff right. so you've definitely got um a good size in here so what what if any construction type modifications have you made in here or is this kind of factory as far as the cabinets and all um, that the cabinets are all the same i haven't done anything to the cabinets okay um Really, uh, the only thing I did is I did put this bed in. It is a toy hauler couch, so it goes up into a oh, couch yeah. or mm -hmm. all the way up for storage. Mm -hmm. But I really can't put it up because I have a memory foam mattress on it for extra comfort. So. Oh, so you're you're kind of stuck in the down position yeah, right now. I got you. I can you. put it up, but it's pretty thick it's, to stay. Up, I got you. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, if if anything that I would change is maybe. I mean, I love the toy hauler couch. I love its whole functionality mm -hmm. when you don't have the mattress on there. Mm -hmm. It's so nice and it's very open. But it's not super, super comfortable. Um, if anything, I changed would be putting a different bed in. Oh. Like a, maybe a slap bed or something. Yeah, yep, yeah, for sure. But I do love the toy hauler couches. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're they're really functional and and. And you have, and you, you mentioned this the other day when you were looking at my truck, your countertops are... Way lower. Yeah. And, you know, they match up. So you've got outside cabinets. Mm -hmm. Down here, my outside cabinets are just taller, you know. So right. they, yeah, so that's a different... I get it um, titled as RV, too. You did? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. You did the bed. These cabinets are all then the factory, the factory. ambulance. Yep. But then back there, you have a... I cut a the little wall thing. And, I cut the wall and put a shower door in there. You cut a hole in the wall. I did it myself too. Look at um, this. Yeah, it's a shower door, barely fit in there, but it fits perfect. Mm -hmm. And it's an indoor outdoor shower because it's got the double doors on the other side, and you know, you can see it from the outside if you go out there. But it's pretty awesome. Wow. It's a little tight without the double doors open, but sure. It's, it's perfect with them open. It's just, it's great. So you... It's like my favorite part of the whole And thing. we'll look at it outside. So you open the double doors and you have a curtain that yep. hangs there when you're taking a shower. Yeah. yeah. So you and got more elbow you room. More room. Yeah. And I don't have, it's not plumbed yet. Um, I have just a um, jerry can in there with a 12 volt pump shower. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And I run everything off of my ACO power. Okay. 400 watt solar generator. Hey, you've got a, a Camp Chef stove. Look at that. 
this is uh, except the knobs are a different color but it looks otherwise it looks just like mine that's different mine doesn't have a handle there huh yeah now i want a handle there yeah. <laughs> i don't know about you but i use my seat my old seat belt thing to hold it down oh yeah i used i used yeah. uh straps i put them down same yeah. same concept though yeah, yeah. And this here, you have water? Yeah, I I don't use it. Um, the reason I put that in there is for the, getting the RV status. I had to have like a sink. Sink? Yeah, that was one of the things. And I thought I would want it. So what I did, this this was already here. This is where they used to put their um, needles and stuff yeah. in. So what I did is, not that. I put one of these little restaurant pans in there. Oh, sure. So um, my brother cut out. This was already a template that was in here that had like a round circle where you throw yep, the, yep, the down into a sharps stuff. container. So I had him cut it out mm -hmm. to hold this. So That's if a I good wanted idea. like a little pan, yeah. you know, like a little sink. Mm -hmm. There's also a drain in here. Like if I wanted to use this, but I just use that for cleaning yeah. supplies and stuff. But there is a drain in the corner and um, my clean water jug and my gray water jug is down there. So if I wanted to so use So you it. can plumb the sink right in there into yeah, your can, gray water. Yeah, I yeah. can just pour, it's a pump mm -hmm. handle and I could just, it could, it's already set up to where I can bring water in mm -hmm. and then it can go out. Or I could just put it in here and dump it. Yeah, out, yeah. Which is, would be easier. Nice. I think. But I don't, I don't really use that. I mean, for my water source, I use this over here, mm -hmm. which is like one of the best things in the whole world. It's like this little thing just sits on top of yeah. the jug and it's USB yeah. um, rechargeable and yeah. it just... And that works for you. <laughs> it's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I got one of those before and then, but I was working on my water system. So I, I don't know, I, I think I left it in my folks closet yeah. or something i didn't bring it with me yeah i gave up on that idea. i love that thing <clears throat> well it's yeah. pretty simplistic mm -hmm. as far as like having to install it you didn't really have to install anything yeah and then you have a sliding door that goes up front yeah this is kind of just a makeshift sliding door this was um left over from the piece that i cut out from doing the shower mm -hmm. so i just kind of put it on a slider and painted it oh so that it didn't have a door no, there it okay didn't have it and I, yeah, yeah, so, I mean, and it just... That's too bad. Mine had a door, and I threw it out. I could have oh, given it to you. Her. Yeah. Why did you throw it out? It's I, so nice to have a door. I didn't... I couldn't think of a reason why I would want to shut off the front, oh. so I just... Well, that's my dog house. Yeah. If I need to put my dog away yeah. or whatever. Well, another reason <laughs> I wanted it, too, is because it looks a little bit more stealthier again. Like sure, because you, you can't up, see in the back. People are going to think yeah. there's someone back no, there. that's but a good when idea. You have metal they just it could just be a workman mm -hmm. or whatever and and it when i have this closed and everything's closed it's dark in here it's like so for electrical system you you don't have solar yet not yet okay and you're you're using the stock batteries that came with the truck no i, I did get new batteries um okay they're um this well, one of them is just a Walmart battery under the hood, but the other ones are DECA batteries, or, which are supposed to be really great okay. batteries. And those are in the tray down below um, the refrigerator mm -hmm. part. Um, but yeah, those, I mean, they run good. I do want to separate them, the house, from the, yep. from the front. And you have an inverter? I do. I have the inverter that came with the ambulance. Um, I think it's a 1250 okay. inverter, so it's not like real big. And but do it's you for right do you now. have needs for like your electrical needs? Not yet. I mean, I do want to put up. I have a 32 inch TV that I want okay. to put up yep. probably right here. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have. I mean, my projector for outside, but I think even the solar won't really do that. I'll probably have to get a generator for that. I don't know. I'll have to figure that yeah, out. Yeah. Um, but I do want to get solar. Um, I do want to get solar. I don't need a whole lot right now. I mean, I do use my um, Echo Power 400 watt mm -hmm. solar generator, mm -hmm. and that does my phones. It heat, you know, it recharges the water. It, and this it is does my boombox. Is Nothing's this the bomb? It's what you have plugged in to the solar panels right now? Yes. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's full right now. Yeah. But when I want to plug it in, I just take it over there and I just throw my solar panel mm -hmm. on, the, on the roof. I was going to attach the solar panel to the cab, but you don't always get sun right there. So right. I just figured it was yeah. good, better to keep it 
free. You know, so I can. I like around. your. Is this like a shower curtain you hung up back here? It's just like a. Uh, or a window cable, curtain. A oh, cable cloth. Ah, oh, no kidding. That's a great. And that's I a great use. Something. I tried to get the um, bug screens that that go in a regular door, and yeah. I, it just didn't fit right. So, I just put that up there just so I could have you know the breeze without the bugs coming in and it works out perfect with the pattern because even though that's a little girly for me but <laughs> <laughs> it is a little girly for me but the cool thing about it is is with the pattern you can't really see in so it gives you kind ah, of some privacy too so added benefit yeah, yeah. so let's uh you want to go outside yeah. and look around well and get back to solar the yeah. one reason i do need solar is to run my refrigerator because this mm. this runs it mm -hmm. but if it's not sunny 24 7 or you know every yeah, day yeah. every single day it's hard to keep it going uh -huh. so i need a little bit more power just sure. to keep that going yeah. so right now i'm just using the ice chest right now until uh -huh. but i'll always keep the ice chest because i like my beers on ice <laughs> <laughs> you can't get that same cold in just a nope. refrigerator no nope. all sure right well know. thank you for showing us yeah. in here let's step outside and we can do a once around so one of the things I noticed, so these black ones used to be your your red lights, is that yeah, right? And they still actually work. It's like a film or something. I honestly don't know. I don't, I don't know if he painted them. Oh, those were done already when you got the rig. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Oh, you got a trailer hitch. I do. It came with that. Mm -hmm. I was pretty stoked about that. And trailer lights. Okay. And I guess because of the trailer hitch, it doesn't have a step a step know, bumper like about that. I yeah hi buddy hello <laughs> oh thank you there's that shower look at that that is glorious yeah it's awesome you just hook this to the side i put a little sure hook in yeah there to hook oh good it idea so, it doesn't go blind so your neighbors don't get a free <laughs> <know>. show <laughs> but it's pretty awesome no that's great really awesome pretty wow awesome. It gets you some hot water heater I know. pumps, and that that would. I had a hot water heater, and I ended up giving it away because it was a little bit beat up, and I want to get a newer one, yeah. a nicer one. So. Wow, no, that's yeah. fantastic. So all of you out there that have the the double tall door cabinet, here's an idea for you, and I'm sure you've already all thought of it. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all can see Lefty over there. He's just really upset that he's not over here with us <laughs> you've got the uh i don't know what they call these things these extenders so you can fill your tires that's good so i've got to ask so this is not your shower tent out here then <laughs> that is not a shower tent <laughs> okay enough said <laughs> enough said <laughs> the sink in the top oh yeah so did you put that in or it was already there? My brother did. Yeah. So it just comes in here. Yeah. Comes out here. Gray water. Gray water. Boy, that's a simple little system. That's Super awesome. Simple. Yeah. And it basically it was just to get the RV status. So I was like, yeah. and if I needed it, but. What state is it uh, titled in? Arizona. Arizona. Okay. Yeah. What else you want to tell us about it? Anything? <sighs> it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome it's like a little apartment on wheels so oh that's pretty that's good. cool it does weigh a lot it weighs a ton yeah like well it weighs pounds. probably almost six six tons right yeah you had it weighed no not yet uh. I'm afraid to. <laughs> i definitely want to put solar on top um and a max fan well the great thing about these is that there's a whole big area up there for solar panels but i only want it on the front part because i want to put a deck on the back yeah sure. well thank you for showing us the rig i'm super jealous of the shower and the headroom inside but other than that that's that's really awesome thank you for showing it to us definitely a cool idea they're gonna last not like an rv that falls apart yeah, good you know? point yeah those cabinets aren't gonna fall apart like yeah. a like an rv cabinet sometimes fall apart so yeah. all right we'll wrap it up here thank you sherry bye <laughs> get up in there come on jump up in Come on, jump up inside, get your dinner. Come on. There you go.